Well, it may be a while before you can enjoy your favorite craft beer in a bar setting. And if the pandemic continues for months, many breweries are at risk of closing for good. Local 22's Courtney Kramer reports on how Vermont breweries are coping. But at some point, you're just looking at the back of can you go on at all? That's the question a lot of Vermont brewers are asking these days as the COVID-19 pandemic continues. Craft beer is a big part of the Green Mountain State's charm, but with restaurants and bars closed down, it's creating a strain. At Switchback Brewing, those sales generate more than half their business. There's a lot of worry on our end about what's going to happen. It, just, it feels like things aren't going to get back to normal by this summer. Founder Bill Cherry said he's spending most of his time figuring out how they can trim expenses in order to operate in the months ahead. With the tap room closed, he says they're running at only 35% their usual function. Cherry says even when things start to reopen, tourism won't be heavy and sales will only creep upward. Best case scenario, we're still a, a reduced company in some fashion while the economy rebuilds and that we have to be conscious of that and, and, and careful. To bring in some business during these times, Switchback and many other breweries are offering curbside pickup as a way to share their beer with Vermonters. At Green Empire Brewing, staff say being proactive was a priority and making sure their beer could keep flowing. Just whatever we could do to get it to the customers. Luckily, Governor Scott um, announced uh, on a Friday that we could do delivery and we were set up Monday to get running with it and had our online system already going and pretty much just ran with it right away. All the brewers are good about making things up as we go. You know, small brewers in particular, you, you, you work with what you got and solve problems. Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.